Okay, let's do a quick video on this 2023 Ford Super Duty Super Cab F250 Premium Sport Package Long Bed. We'll do a, just a real quick thing. I'll show you a few things that I've done. I put that uh, Magnum Headache Rack on there, which I like. They're, they were quite uh, good to deal with and the price was good that's all aluminum very well built fits right down in your stake pockets not a problem i got my 115 gallon fuel tank in the back over on the other side you'll see my generator mount where i put a 3000 honda generator with a, uh, a diamond plate cover over it box and uh, so anyway i love this truck it's got the 67 diesel I bought that tow and stow uh, trailer hitch for it and I bought the three inch and I got a two and a half inch receiver so I modified it I put a two and a half inch inside the three inch and welded a bolt through the pinhole and uh, now I can hook my trailer up and it the tailgate doesn't hit the hit the uh, the jack the trailer jack so that's something you want to think about if you have a bumper pull trailer that you can open your tailgate with the trailer hooked up. I couldn't have, if this trailer hitch would have worked, I couldn't have hooked it up. So uh, I think that's going to work out real good. And uh, one of the main reasons for this video is to show you a couple of things I got kind of a little bit frustrated with uh, and I'm going to show you the back seat if you want to uh, if you want to move the back seat forward the back of the back seat uh, all the videos on the internet are not exactly helpful well, they are helpful but they don't exactly show you on this one this one here has got a little different me mechanism to, to pull your seat forward you got to pull this little tab up and push the seat back and then move it forward and what ford has done on these 2023s is or at least on the super duty super cab uh f-250 they put this little uh, pull strap on there but you can't reach it with your hand you can't get your hand far enough so i just put a couple little ties on there and uh, of course that works just like the the other ones you pull that little strap up and it fits into that thing there and I was looking to possibly run some wires through from the back so that's why I wanted to get that that up there and to put it back it just goes like that I may do a rear seat removal so I get more storage because I when I travel I like to have everything inside so uh, that's pretty much it the, uh, I got a little uh, Stryker 955CB that uh, I'm going to take. I'm going to do a trip uh, way up north. And I still got my Garmin uh, uh, GPS. And the truck is really very comfortable. The heated seats are actually quite nice. I live in Florida, but I was up in Minnesota in April, and it was uh, the heated seats felt pretty damn good. Uh one other thing a couple other things that I was uh, a little bit frustrated with apparently the inside cube uh, fuse panel is in this little thing here you got to pull it down and then the fuse inside fuse box is up inside there and uh, that's kind of interesting that's not uh, I guess the owner manual shows it underneath the uh, Love box so there it is that little part there and the other thing is I've had a, still haven't solved is the uh, the uh, upfitter switches are supposed to be are supposed to be in the uh, uh, kick plate right there and I've had all this apart this whole thing apart all the way back to here all this all this off all this off up here and the kick plate and i still haven't found the upfitter switch wires maybe somebody could help me there but uh yeah i love the truck i mean i'm uh 
getting any worse from pulling my trailer from 12 and a half to 15 and a half depending on where I get the fuel it seems to make a huge difference where I get the fuel I got fuel in Portland Indiana uh, in uh, May and uh, I got 15 and a half miles a gallon that was Walmart fuel and I got fuel at the Speedway in Montgomery and I got 12 and a half so it does make a difference uh, where you get your fuel well, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoy your uh, Super Duty as much as I enjoy mine. The other thing is, uh, with that CB radio deal, uh, of course you can't use a magnetic antenna, so I put this fire stick antenna with a little three-foot fire stick on there, and... Uh, uh, you know, I didn't think it'd work very good, but the first time I turned it on, I talked to somebody in Colorado, and the next morning, I on uh, that was on sideband, the next morning I talked to somebody on AM in Tennessee, so I guess it's working okay, it works, it'd be plenty good enough for me. Well, thanks for watching.